Because allegations are made, the jurisdiction of Antigua and Barbuda should not be entered into willy-nilly, nor should we allow arbitrary, untimely, and unjustified carving up of the assets of an investor who, by the way, even if he committed fraud at the end of the day, due process has to take place. He's also a citizen of Antigua and Barbuda. Yeah. He's a citizen of Antigua and Barbuda. He's also a... Have you revoked his Antigua passport? Have you tried? They can't revoke his citizenship. Pardon me? Not a millennium. I know it's not a millennium, but I don't know if they can. You can? But Mr. A.G., through you, Madam Speaker, it's an Antiguan citizen you're dealing with still. You, yes. you, is you and the Prime Minister orchestrate this whole thing with Stanford. The whole thing with Stanford is y'all orchestrated. Honorable member. And leak information to the SEC. Honorable member. Honorable member. That is improper. Improper? And if I have substantiated evidence to substantiate it, it is speaker, improper. You want me to give the evidence? No, I want you to take it back. You want me to give the evidence? I want you to take it back. Honorable member, I want you to take it back. What do you want me to take back? You are imputing improper motives. But tell me exactly what you want me to take back. <laughs> what? Sure. I'm not going to repeat it. Well, I don't know what you want me to take back. You have to tell me which part of my presentation you want me to take back. Show me where I went wrong. Honorable member, let's not play games. I don't know what you want me to take back. You just made an allegation, just made a charge against the Attorney General and the Prime Minister. Yes. Accuse him of collusion. Remember? Of course. And I'd I like stand by that? I would like you to take it back. Why are you want to take it back? Because you're imputing improper motives. But how you know I don't have evidence to substantiate it? But let me produce it then. So can I do it? Yes. 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 Yeah. Let me have a copy. In the interest of peace, Madam Speaker, I'll take it back. Honorable member, I take it. Honorable member, you have said that this is a most serious matter, and you are making it into a comedy. Honorable member, you listening to me? If I'm listening to you, I'm yes. listening to you, but I don't listen to you with my eyes. You know how many times I'm speaking, you're not even looking at me? Honorable member. At yes, I heard you. You said yes. I'm making it into a comedy. I will continue to deal with the matter at hand, which is very serious. In the serious manner it that he deserves. I already took it back. Thank you. All right. Your biasness is, I tell you. The party's objective, Madam Speaker. Honorable member, I heard that too. Come on. Honorable member. Madam Speaker. Honorable member for yes. St. Peter. Yes, Madam I'm Speaker. inviting you to take that back as well. Take what back? I will stop the debate, you know. What? You want me I to take that? I will stop back? you. And I said that you're biased, Madam Speaker. I take that back to Madam Speaker. But why you all don't want to hear the truth? Madam Speaker. The New York Times is the truth. That's the truth. The New York Times paper, which tells us, and let me read it, that an investigation of the Stanford banks, and I quote Madam Speaker, could be good politically for Mr. Spencer, who is in a tough re-election campaign against the former Prime Minister Lester Bird. I didn't say that. The New York Times said so. So it is political. It is political. I didn't say that. And it also went on, Madam Speaker. The Attorney General, Madam Speaker, who piloted the famous amendment to the International Business Corporation Act in this Parliament last year. This. You piloted this. Number 19 of 2008.
which passed the House of Representatives on the 10th day of November 2008 and passed in the Senate on the 13th day of November. And, and the Honorable Attorney General, Madam Speaker, he created an obligation for him to cooperate with other regulatory authorities before first going to court. So, so, it's wrong. When Bill Cooper was investigated and his bank, the American government had to come here and go to our courts here before any information was shared. And but you came back here last year and changed the legislation that you can share information with the regulatory authorities without going to court. Don't lie to the country man is here. You did that. Oh yes, you did that. So when I say that you cooperated with Americans and you helped to cause it, and Madam Speaker, tell me to take it back, this act of legislation helps you to share information. Honourable members. You have the majority. Honourable members. You piloted it. You piloted it. Honourable members, we're now going. Honourable member for Rural West. Yes, we did. Honourable member for Rural West. Honourable member for St. Peter. You're a member of this parliament. We sat here, we debated a bill. The bill was passed, we are not going to debate we the bill We voted against it, Madam Speaker. You did not vote we against it, you never vote. vote. We, we didn't vote against it, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, let's votes. go look in hands up, we voted against it. Let us move on, we're not going back no, to but that. Madam Speaker, you said we didn't vote against it? In my recollection, you never no, vote. No, you're totally wrong, but I don't send the clerk outside to get an answer. We are not re-debating that No, bill. Madam Speaker, you let said we voted, on. we didn't vote against it. That's okay. Madam Mo Speaker, move on. You know, but that's wrong, Madam Speaker. Say, move on. Move on. We are not. You said we that we voted not, with it. We voted against it. We are not revisiting the bill. I mean, you're not interested in the bill. So, let's move on with this. You're motion. not interested in this bill that was amended last year that gave the. the, the oh, you look, you're watching. You have to give me extra time. No, I don't. Oh, you don't? That is the House's decision, not mine. <laughs> March the 12th will give us extra time. Remember that. March the 12th. Anyway, Madam Speaker. But I ask him for more time. She said she don't have to give me more time. And look at all these interruptions. Honorable Member, don't stand there and tell lies on me. Because you very well know that I do not give time. That is a premise of the House. Anyway, you too, the Attorney General, had his few minutes of fame with the New York Times Online. And he quoted, Madam Speaker, and I quote, I am sure various other offshore companies are going to worry exactly how far SEC control will go. I didn't say that. The Attorney General was quoted in the New York Times Online as saying, I'm sure various other offshore companies are going to worry exactly how far the SEC control will go. He added that his government now intended or intends to investigate where billions of dollars that have been deposited in Mr. Stanford Banks had gone. He said the government would seek to work with American regulators to find the money and to cover, uncover any possible crimes. He continues, I trust there will be cooperation. If there was fraud, we also have jurisdiction and we will take action. And you were right to say that. You were. When you're right, you're right. But then you come in here and you do your total vol fast. 360 degrees again. Same thing with the hospital. Oh, but come on, the man, Mr. Attorney General. You told the New York Times that if there's fraud, we also have jurisdiction and we will take action. There's no fraud yet being proven. The matter is before the courts on Monday. Why this haste today here in Parliament to do what you're doing? Why not wait and see the outcome of the civil proceedings and then make a determination? Why? What is the hurry? 
The buildings that the airport can be taken.